start with 11 immovable blocks in the ground. You can use obsidian, glazed terracotta, or any other immovable block you want. After that, add three rows of observers with a gap between each of them, followed by sticky pistons in front of them, and do the same thing on the other side. The redstone may look complicated, but it's actually really simple. Since it's just one redstone contraption, coppered six times, and that contraption is a triple piston extender, the redstone may look daunting, but after you build it twice, it will become natural and easy to copy. Add the sticky pistons like last time. And before we do the redstone, we want to add the slime and honey blocks that will make the door. Start with five slime blocks at the bottom, then two honey blocks in the middle, and finally another five slime blocks on top. It should end up looking like a letter C, not the most beautiful C, but a C nonetheless. For the other side, we are going to start with five honey blocks, followed by three slime blocks in the middle, and another five honey blocks on the top. It should look like half circle, and once they interlock, they will make our five times five door. For the redstone, start by placing a block next to the observer, have a repeater on max tick delay going into it, a repeater going into the first sticky piston without any delay, a repeater going into the third piston with three ticks delay, then two repeaters next to it on max tick delay, and finally another repeater without any delay, then you can connect them all with the redstone dust. And to finish the triple piston extender, we need to add repeaters in front of the observers, start with redstone dust, then repeater without any delay, and another two on max tick delay. Now it's just a matter of copying the redstone five more times, start by making a platform on top of the existing redstone, making sure to use immovable blocks next to the slime and honey blocks. And now it's time to copy the redstone. Have a repeater on max tick delay going into the block next to the observer, repeater going into the first piston without any delay, a repeater going into the third piston on three ticks delay, two repeaters on max tick delay next to it, and final one without any delay, and you can connect them all with redstone dust like last time. Have redstone dust in front of the block, followed by a repeater without any delay, and another two in front of that on max tick delay. Now for the big twist no one was expecting. Copy the redstone again. I told you the redstone was simple. Make the platform above the existing redstone and copy the redstone itself. Repeater on max tick delay, followed by repeater without any delay, then repeater on three ticks delay, two repeaters on max tick delay next to it, and another one without delay. As before, connect them all with the redstone dust, and to finish this side of the door, add redstone dust in front of the block, followed by repeater without delay, and two more on max tick delay, and that's this side of the door done. For the other side, redstone will be the same, the only difference is we are going from left to right this time. Max tick delay for the first one, no delay for the second one, followed by three ticks delay for the third one, two repeaters on max tick delay next to it, and finally one without any delay. You know the drill, connect them all with redstone dust, have redstone dust in front of the block, repeater without any delay, followed by two on max tick delay. And you are almost there, we just need to copy this two more times, since we already did it for times, I'm going to speed up the last two. If you have troubles, you can always reverse the video to refresh your memory, or refer to this screenshot if it helps. And finally, we only have one layer left to go. Max tick delay, one tick delay, three ticks delay, two on max tick delay, and finally one tick delay. Redstone dust, repeater with no delay, two and max, and you are done. Go behind the second repeater and replace the block with glass and add the redstone back, do the same with the layer below. Replace the block with glass and add the redstone, add glass at the bottom, redstone dust on top, and do it one more time, and that's how you connect all three layers together. And you want to do the same thing on the other side? Go behind the second repeater, and replace the block with glass, and add the redstone back, do the same with the layer below. Replace the block with glass and add the redstone, add glass at the bottom, redstone dust on top, and do it one more time. Now, we need to connect both sides together up to this block, so dig out a two block deep line to the other side, add the redstone all the way across. Accept a repeater on the last block to extend the signal all the way to the top and do the same thing on the other side. Now you need to decide where you want to have your redstone input. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will have the lever right in front of the door. Depending where you might have your input, you may need several repeaters to extend the signal. 
If you want to have a lever on the other side too, just connect it to the same redstone line connecting the two sides together. Next part is up to you, decide what blocks you want to use for the door, and that's your 5x5 door, enjoy!